Today is a very proud day for us. Uh, we are launching the AICTE e-governance project. This is a very important project because it allows transparency in the regulatory process, allows applications to be filed online, allows applications to be looked at online, and of course the, the approval processes uh, are online. This brings about efficiency in the system, this brings about transparency in the system. This is something that we've been wanting to do in the AICTE for a long time. And so it's really a matter of great pride that we gather here today for the launch of this project. Remember this, that e-governance is not, not about information technology, it's about good governance. Because e-governance allows you those processes through which the welfare of the people and the efficient administration of projects are brought closer together in proximity to each other. Because the ultimate objective of an e-governance project is the welfare of our people. With e-governance, we'll bring about efficiency in the system. Projects will be cleared quickly with elements of transparency which are necessary for good governance. And when that happens, the education sector which is looking for enormous investments, is looking for expansion, will be benefited. And that will lead to expansion of the education sector and the kind of reforms that we've been wanting to and dreaming of for a long time. It will also provide for good leadership, effective leadership, not just within the system, but even outside the system, because others will be able to peep in and have confidence in the fact that the system is dealing with them impartially, at arm's length, and on principles of equity. This is very, very important for good governance. I would like to congratulate AICTE, Larson and Tubro, Infotech, and Oracle for having collaborated in this project and given us something unique for us to cherish for a long time to make AICTE the organization we want it to be.